What is up, y'all? I think I've maybe been here before in a video, but if not, let me show y'all what this is about. There is like three, four ponds starting from here and flows downhill. They are pretty, pretty cool. Thought I seen a snake in the water. Not about that life. Anyways, this all this land, 147 acres, was donated by somebody. The Dillard Place. Look at this, kids. Fishing day, y'all. Plus my sexy body. Let me make a muscle in here. Hope this gets that. Ugh. Yeah, big guns. Look at this. Look at this. This machine right here. This fine trail machine. What y'all think about my tag mod? Don't want no cameras getting that. Whew. I'm out of breath. I'm fat, boys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the drone out today. I hope this mic doesn't pick up all my breathing. I am going to take the drone up top of the mountain and try to get some wicked shots. If I do, I will try to post them. We'll probably be like in the video if they're in it because honestly, I'm still just learning how to do this GoPro snaz. So I doubt that I'm going to be able to take the drone clips and video and pop it in here. But if I do, maybe I'll get real creative and put it like right here. That's probably not going to happen, but if it does. Right here, that'll be badass. Oh boy. I love this Grom. Quick trip. Man, just pounded a power rate back there and took a piss. It's about 91, 92 degrees here in eastern Tennessee. I gotta get a different exhaust too, y'all. I'm sorry about this exhaust in the videos. The you know I got that. Uh, Foshi mirror exhaust that fake Yoshi and uh, my cone came off the back and my baffles fucking fell out and it's down inside the exhaust it's, it's a mess don't be cheap like me buy the real thing but yeah I'm gonna try to give this drone a shot I don't know I hope I don't lose it up here that'll suck I got a DJI spark and so far I've crashed in a creek and let it recover for three or four days and it still works the battery didn't work but the drone still works man uh, me and my buddy that rides on that other drone with me in the videos uh we went and got the out the door price on some 2019 drz 400 super motards now you know i was talking about the 250l or the honda rally or something like that and I was, I was hooked on them man that, in my mind I was like ah oh, that's what I'm getting that's what I gotta have but after watching all the videos and I mean like most people do they get out they want something they watch videos about it on YouTube until they know every damn I think I got sweat me stoked until they know everything about it and essentially that's what I did I watched everybody complained about the suspension I mean everybody complained about the power and I just I've got one Grom I don't need just a another bigger slower Grom type thing these are sleep or steep so I had a 08 DRZ 400 super motard with the 434 kit the what the hell is that carburetor something 39 carburetor on it and MRD exhaust had the 3x3 mod done and uh, it had a kickstart on it and had battle axe tires for it for the street one of those supermoto wheels and then I wired off Craigslist a set of uh, DRZ 400S wheels and tires I had to switch out the front rotor I believe to the supermotard rotor because they're bigger 
I put a set of Dunlop D606s on that beast. And I can switch it out, you know, relatively quickly. So, I really enjoyed that bike. You know, I just sold my Razor, looking for something to play with a little bit more. You know, I'm here in East Tennessee, you know, the, the Dragon is kind of in my backyard. Um, wouldn't mind, the, you know, obviously I ain't riding the Dragon, you know, in shorts and the, the fucking cut off t-shirt. But, maybe get me some more riding gear and dress for the slide. And go to the gap and beast it up. And then there's some pretty cool single track trails around here. But th I mean, this thing just doesn't have the power for me to do that on. Well, I, I take that back. This thing will do it, but man, it's rough on you. The suspension on this bike is shit. Man, these hills, this probably doesn't show how steep they are. There used to be a ski slope up on this mountain, actually. I'll keep back with y'all when I find something. Oh shit, bottom out. Y'all hear that? I catch back up with y'all as soon as I find something interesting. There's a pretty cool trail right here. Yeah. Went down it before. I rode on four wheelers and stuff. Wasn't really supposed to. But I don't do that trail on a bike because that back there last time I was there was very very snaky like I think I seen about four rattlesnakes me and the lady were riding around in my TJ and we're riding down the trail and I could hear her rattling I stopped when it was coming from underneath the jeep I'd stopped over top of this thing then I felt the oh, rock kicked up and hit my leg when I'm talking about these snakes and I freaked out. But, man, so I was like, man, that is bad. So, uh, went on and verified that, oh shit, Woo. those rocks look like a case breaker. But, I made sure that the Grom was behind me. Or, not a Grom. The snake was behind us when we pulled off. And, uh, Went on down the trail. Wasn't just moments later. Seen another one and then another one. And everybody says, you know, uh, says black snakes eat those or whatever. But man, I seen probably five, six black snakes. So I don't know how true that is. But then again, I don't know shit about snakes because besides the fact that they're nope rope to me. So yeah, I might, I might ride that. If I, if I get this super motards DRZ, I buy another set of dirt tires. But I'll ride that then. But it'll be have to. Oh shit! Bogged her down, man. I hit the brake when I tried to BMX bunny hop this thing over that Grand Canyon crevice. Man, this road's gotten washed out pretty pretty rough y'all are watching this like ah oh, what a what a pussy this that ain't rough I'm 300 pounds I got like two inches of suspension travel and I got 12 inch tires it's pretty rough for me oh the trees come down I could really mess up your day And my phone was dying before we got. Ah, oh, yeah, we charging now. We cruising. I have to put my phone goes in my drone remote. So, pretty pumped about that. Plus, when I drank both the Powerades I brought. And I have a little bit of a cotton in the mouth for some unknown reason. But I have two waters that were frozen and they're in my tank bag so I've got high hopes for those I'm hoping each one of them is like I don't know maybe a third of the way thawed out so I can drink a little of each of them yeah, 
guess y'all can tell her my mindset. And I got a beef stick. Pretty excited about that too. Riding over all these rocks, I'm impressed with how well these tires do. They're little knobbies. I, oh boy. I think that they're like Maxis maybe. Got the show oh, doing fucking up like he's talking about them snakes and them rocks kicking up and stuff. Oh, I like it. Golly, look at this, y'all. What y'all think? I just take the easy way down the mountain? Man, look at that. Is that an eagle? Oh, that is freaking awesome. America, boys. America. Yeah. I'd hate to be the lineman that set those poles. That would suck. Can I wheelie on this? A little bit, a little bit. All right, she's all. I'm almost at the tip of the top. It's got a little pavement up here. That goes to the towers. That's pretty rough we may uh we may go up there later no trip up a mountain is out without a celebratory willy Ooh, big holes them babies are getting bigger every time there used to be chalets through here then after that there were some mud holes They didn't let, let us play like that very long. Nope, not happening in second, is it? Oh, heck yeah, I think I'm the only one up here. Oh, that's what's up. Appalachian Trail is that way. Man, I ain't, I ain't got it today. Slid around. Woo, bud. What about a power slide? Ah, yeah. Front, a little front tire slide, too. Because I got it like that, y'all. Skirt, look at this view. Kickstand, engage. Damn it, now, come on. Hard to get it with these riding boots sometimes. Oh yeah, what's up up here, y'all? Oh yeah, look at this view. I'm on top of the world. I'm getting some slap chats. I remember when I was in high school, I throw a football over these mountains, but they just got to me. Let's put this drone up, y'all. Boom! All right, y'all. Just took some photos. Flew the drone out a little bit. Man, I had some birds come try to attack it. That was wild. That was the first. Oh, here's a... Some hunters... be some people hunting oh, I wonder what they're hunting looking up in that tree for I guess I don't know if they're looking for bear or what I, uh, I heard that truck coming down that old four like four wheel drive trail that goes to the Appalachian Trail so I'm guessing they're probably bear or coon or something while they're looking up in that truck who, who knows maybe Man, wouldn't it be trippy if I was that close to damn a bear being hunted? 
I'd be wild as hell. Oh, I mean, what would I do? I can't outrun them on the ground. I ain't gonna mess with going up to that today. What is shaking on this thing? They're metal and tinging, but I don't know what it is. Oh well, yeah. I wonder what them people were doing. They had to be. They were definitely hunters of some sort. But what were they hunting? Had to be bear or coons, because you can't shoot turkeys off the roost, and deer don't climb trees. So it had to be one or the other. Ooh. So that was interesting. Hopefully, um good enough to figure out how to get that drone footage if if I'm talking about this and y'all already seen the drone footage then uh y'all just know I one smart son of a gun and figured out oh staying a little stand-up action going on and I figured it out man I'm tired it's gonna get dark it's six o'clock so it's gonna get dark here in just a few and it's sketchy over there at the end that they didn't look happy with me it looked like he smelled a fart he was just another fellow honda you know something's loose on this bike never mind i know what it is this 12 bar has a thing in the back of it where you can put stuff in it. And I forgot, last time my chain kept coming off, man, it was a real bad day. Uh, so I put out everything in there I need to tighten my chain and some other tools back there. And that's what I've been hearing rattling. I just now remember that. Because usually I roll two beers in there because I can fit two beers perfect in the back of that 12 bar. So usually when I go up, you know, I, I, what I do is I put them in the freezer and, you know, freeze them part of the way. You, you know, freeze them enough where they don't bust, but they'll stay kind of cool for a couple hours. And uh, I ride up places like that or, you know, creek, somewhere cool, river, any, just anywhere, somewhere outdoors usually. And uh, I usually drink, drink those two beers and uh, crunch them back up and put them back in that bar and uh, good to go so that that is one plus about the 12 bar but th it makes me one of them guys hunting bears like what what do i do if I, a bear was to run and then eat my ass i look like a big ass snack i mean i don't i'm i guarantee you i can't outrun a bear on this road i probably couldn't outrun a damn high school athlete I mean, if I just cranked it like that maybe well, I doubt it I'd, rock, I'd wreck well, yeah we check this view out one more time y'all what do y'all think oh 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 that was sketchy yeah look at that look at that look at that what a beautiful area seem to run a little bit too fast down roads like this that's not saying I'm not saying I'm fast though I'm just saying I feel like one day I'm quickly gonna get over my skill limit oh yeah the sound of my people I love mountain roads We ain't got to worry about the popo, -po. and you can just let her eat. I've decided I am gonna take the highway home, and uh, surely I'll piss a lot of. Surely I'll end up pissing a lot of people off. Ah, quick sixty. If we hit again. 56 right there not too shabby not too shabby i'm kind of in a hurry i was up there i didn't realize uh, 
my dog's been sick. Like, I took, we ended up taking him back to the vet last night after hours. And, uh, I made an update on my baby Labrador. We just got a, uh, a bacterial infection. Oh, listen to that sound of my people right there. Oh, yeah. Kind of shit. But, uh, yeah, it's a bacterial fish uh, infection in his prostate. And uh, a guy usually calls me about 7 at 6.05, so I'm going to try to shag ass. We're letting the grog eat run. Oh, what? we hit 60. Here we go at 60. I see a vehicle coming. I better slow her down in case they're hauling ass and dumb like me. No, but there's two of them. Uh, yeah, well, hope y'all enjoyed this video because it's probably about to end. I, all my videos end up being kind of long, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't know, man. I just ride around talking shit, but unless something interesting happens from here on out, I'm just going to be cruising home try to get the cell phone signal I should have signal in about 30 minutes or so and uh, I should be at my house in a little over an hour yeah I was on a bicycle I'm one step above but yeah peace out y'all Remember, keep the rubber in the air. Peace. Oh, fucking snake. Woo! GoPro photo mode. Fuck it. Figure out to record hitting these twisties. This car's gonna fuck me up. Come on, y'all. Let's go fast. What is that? Right for? Some whatever it is. Come on, get out of here. Let me let this bike eat. Come on, I'm gonna dip her down. Come on, I'm gonna rub my knee on that line. One hell of a turn down here, right here. Got the old man, you can see him there. Yeah, that is a RAV4. I'm all up on that ass. A lot of times there's some boys on rockets Saturday mornings, man, they be hauling ass up here. They call it going ham sandwich. But that one tried to roll with this grom though. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm saying? Man, I was hoping I was gonna catch up or catch up with that adventure bike. Phone's going nuts. I'm getting that signal I was wanting. I got it good. Yeah, I probably couldn't get a phone call yet. Well, this dude screwed up our run through the curves. I should have fallen signal here just. That one third boy that's what I'm talking about. I got that 3G right now running 62-ish. I'll take it. 300 pounds on the drum. 63. I'll see right here. 64. Come on, let's see. Oh, 65. But I'll start going downhill. I'll probably 
flat grade. I'm out, I'm out here 70. Come on, baby. Come on, do it. Oh, yeah, she did it for Papa. Oh, yeah, we hit 70 for sure. But now with this chrome right now, after it's been broke in, we got some miles on it. I'll be able to maintain 55-ish the rest of this road on the highway. So I don't terribly piss people off. But the people that want to go faster are generally not happy with me. But going from the, the mountains back, it's pretty much downhill. I mean, here we're banking. We're going to hit 70 again. Yeah, come on, give me 71. 71. We got 71, baby. I'll take it. This guy, this old man's hauling ass down way out of these curves. Everybody hauling on this road, though. I keep my, my speed right. This right here is gonna get me down to about 55-ish. 57, 55, yep. I think it might even drop to 54. But now I'm picking back up, yeah. I'll be 50, 50, 50, 55-ish for the rest of the road. But I have a signal in case that vet calls which is what I wanted, so I might pick off and take some back roads, and I'll catch y'all next time. Deuces.